What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and today we'll be going over an add-on that I've gotten a literal ton of questions about over the last few months. My Combo Point Tracker. It was ironically the first add-on I ever picked up many, many years ago. So I figured I'd share a little bit of information about it as well as a small tutorial of how to set it up in various ways. So let's dig into another episode of Awesome Add-ons with Nug Combo Bar. So, Nug Combo Bar has been around a long, long time. At least 8 years and probably longer, as I've been using it since the beginning of Mists of Pandaria. I'm sure nowadays I could probably make or find a weak or a similar to Nug Combo Bar, but it has been my best, most reliable add-on literally ever and hasn't let me down yet. I'll be leaving a download link to it in the description of this video, so you too can give it a shot if you've never tried it before. I'll also be going over how to set it up and exactly what it can do, as it's actually been able to be used for more than just rogues. Also, the video will be segmented out between the tutorial part and then just a little show and tell thingy of my own setup, if you just want to copy mine exactly, which I know a lot of people have asked about too. Before I get too wrapped up in the breakdown and tutorial though, I wanted to introduce a new patron to the Super Shiba Squad tier of the channel. So hello and welcome to Sealith! Thank you so much for your help supporting the channel, Seelith, and I hope the Shiba shenanigans and informative, to-the-point content continues to serve you well. So, I'm gonna be installing and removing my settings from Nug Combo Bar so I can show you exactly how it looks when you get it right out of a fresh install, then I'll go over all the nifty things it can do. I'll also show you how to set it up exactly like mine, as I've had a lot of people want my exact settings for it. So this footage here is just a quick example of what mine looks like with the settings that I like to use. Now let's switch over to a fresh copy of the add-on and see what we're working with. So Nug Combo Bar is of course, first and foremost, a combo point tracker. So it'll cause these little orbs to pop up as you spend and gain combo points. The stock version is very simply just some purple orbs and it doesn't show up when you're out of combat or anything like that. The nice thing about Nug Combo Bar is the nice bits of customizations you can make it do. As a side note, you can use this add-on for various other resources, such as Shadow Dance Charges, Soul Shards, Runes, Soul Fragments, Holy Power, and a bunch of other stuff. For Death Knight Runes or things with charges that come off cooldown, you'll probably want to turn off the Pretty Rune setting, otherwise it's really not that useful for keeping track of them. Even then it's not super great for those, but it's much better than if you leave the Pretty Rune setting on, which I'll elaborate on in a little bit. For constant things like Chi, Holy Power, and Combo Points obviously, this is a fantastic thing to use for tracking. Anyways, let's dig into the actual GUI of this add-on so we can start tweaking things. You'll notice if you type forward slash NCB, you'll get a ton of text prompts, as this is still one of those old school add-ons that you can change settings from just text commands. However, to make your life a lot easier, there is a graphical user interface instead, which you will access by typing forward slash ncb space gui. From here, you can pull up all of the settings and customizations you can make to Nug Combo Bar. We'll start from the top and work our way through all the options available to us. The top two sections involve choosing the profile and settings you want for each of your specs. For rogues, it's pretty simply just for combo points, with the exception of subtlety. If you wanted to track Shadow Dance charges with this, for example, you'd simply click on the arrow next to the Subtlety Rogue icon and choose Combo Points and Shadow Dance instead of just Rogue Combo Points. On the right hand side, they'll all say Default, which is quite literally just the base profile that you start with and can edit. If you want to have multiple profiles, you can copy or create ones in the current profile section really easily. You can also delete additional profiles made, though you can't of course delete the default one. Creating a profile is really simple, as all you'll need to do is type in whatever name you want for the profile, and then hit the enter or ok button, then click create new profile. This will let you have different customizations for each character or spec you want, which is a pretty nifty feature if you want to have different visuals for each class you might want to use this on. The general tab is pretty self explanatory, as it covers all the basic things such as locking and unlocking the Nug combo bar itself so that you can move it around changing the scale, or alpha, or transparency of the combo point UI. It also includes things like choosing when and why the combo bar will appear, so if you prefer it always active like mine, then this is where you'd be setting stuff like that. Next, you'll have the global settings. This includes things that might not quite make sense to you at first. Pretty Runes is what makes things like the Rune Recharge effect for Death Knights using this add-on be cooler looking with visual effects and whatever. 
This of course looks really nice, but can be a bit difficult to track exactly how long you have left for a recharge effect to occur. When this is disabled, it instead makes a little red bar appear beneath the circle that you're charging that fills up the charge until, well, it's charged. I personally would just use a separate weak aura or add-on that actually charges exact rune timings, as that seems more efficient to me, but if you want to mess around with that, you can give each version a shot as well. There is also the Disable Class Frames option, which for rogues will get rid of the combo point tracker that's attached to your base UI nameplate. Since you'll have a new combo point tracker, you won't exactly need a duplicate. Disable Nameplate Class Frames, however, I've never noticed what it does, at least on a rogue, so you might want to mess with that one, or you might not. I don't think it does anything on a rogue, maybe for other classes. These next two are the important ones for customization. 2D Mode and 3D Mode. 2D mode disables all the cool special effects and whatnot that Nug Combo Bar is capable of. So this simply lets you only change the colors of your combo points and that's it. Speaking of colors, the Colors tab is where you'll start getting into all the cool customizations you can make. The number indicates which combo point or charge is going to be which color. So you can change them all individually by clicking on their respective box, or you can change them all at once using the All Points setting. The bar 1 option is for changing the cooldown bar color that will show up underneath your cooldown ability if you have pretty runes disabled and the effect is on cooldown, so things like shadow dance charges or death knight runes. The second row option will affect the color of the shadow dance orbs themselves or whatever cooldown if you have this enabled on a different class, though I still haven't figured out what the second layer does to be honest. In 2D mode settings, all you can change is how bright the glow effect is on the combo points, so nothing too crazy here. I will say as a heads up, quite a few of the changes you make in Nug Combo Bar require reloading your UI with forward slash reload, if you've never done that before, as some changes won't show up otherwise. The 3D mode settings is where you can have some real fun with this add-on. To enable it, you must change your global setting to 3D mode and reload your UI, which the add-on will prompt you to do. Once you do this, you can then start making all the special effects for the main combo point bar and your Shadow Dance charge bar. For me, it also seems like the color choices are much more accurate in 3D mode, though I'm not quite sure why. There is also the Use Colors option, which if disabled will simply rely on the special visual effects for the color to be displayed from each preset, whereas enabling the color will let you tweak it to try and find just the right shade of red or blue or whatever you're looking for. There are a ton of different effects you can use on your combo points as well, so I highly recommend just digging through and seeing which cool ones you can find in there and see what you like the most. Lastly, and I haven't used it myself other than for testing purposes in this video, is the Sounds option. This allows you to set your add-on to play a notification sound for when you hit maximum charges or combo points for whatever class you're using this on. As a rogue, I can imagine this being exceptionally annoying in a lot of cases, though if you want to do this then it is an option available to you. There are a few built-in sound options you can choose from, as well as the Custom option. Choosing the custom option allows you to name a specific mp3 file and location on your computer as long as you type it in the directory correctly, meaning you can make it whatever you want apparently. A nice and smart idea of them was to allow you to change the sound channel that is used for the volume setting. So for instance, if you play with all of your sound effects off but leave ambiance or music on or something, you can make it so this noise will still play through one of those alternatives. Kind of obscure, but smart thinking on the developer's part. Okay, so now on to the part where I just show and tell my own setup. I saved a template of my normal combo bar, so you can see all the settings that I use for my own UI. From top to bottom, we'll go through this. First off, I do not use Nug Combo Bar to track my Shadow Dance charges in subtlety, so change that to Combo Points Rogue in the top section. For scaling, mine is set to 1.2, so just a bit smaller than the standard one. I also have mine set to always show, as I keep track of my combo points outside of combat to know how much I have between ad packs and in case I need to spend combo points to keep stacks of alacrity rolling or something like that. For global settings, you'll want to set it to 3D mode. For colors, the only ones that matter are numbers 1 through 6, though if you want to make it easier on yourself, set them all to red using the all points box, then just manually change 4, 5, and 6 to yellow, green, and white respectively. For 3D mode settings, all that really matters is to change the first preset to glow white, since that's the only one that affects the main combo point bar. You'll also need to enable use colors, as otherwise it'll just be white. After that, you can unlock and move your combo bar anywhere you choose, lock it in place, and you'll be good to go. I personally like the red, yellow, green, white thing because the colors all have high contrast to each other, meaning I can know just from my peripheral vision where I'm at for combo points. That and it reminds me of a stoplight and looks kinda cool. That helps too. 
If you've never used Nug Combo Bar before, I highly recommend trying it out. It has a lot of really great visual effects you can mess with and you can customize your profiles for each character you have, which is really cool. It's also exceptionally reliable, as in the 8 or so years I've been using it, I've never once had it crash or fail or not be able to be used when a patch or a new expansion comes out. So kudos to the developer for making a very stable and awesome add-on. I hope this little tutorial and introduction to Nug Combo Bar was entertaining and useful to you. If so, then any likes, comments, or new subscribers are exceptionally kind things of you to do. If you liked this sort of video and are new to my little corner of the YouTube algorithm, then I'd like to welcome you to come check out the rest of the channel. I do new uploads every week down a variety of content, covering add-ons such as this one, weak auras, guides, internal game systems, and of course a healthy amount of rogue-specific stuff. As always, a huge thank you to my regular viewers, commenters, subscribers, and especially my patrons for helping make these Shiba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.